Assalamu alaikum. In today's tutorial, we shall talk about volume optimization using Win2K software. I have a structure generated here. This is the structure of titanium carbide. We can see it. So this is the structure of titanium carbide. I will show how to do volume optimization for this structure. Now, to start the volume optimization, I need to initialize the calculation first. So I will do it. If you need to review how to do the uh, initialization or how to generate the structure, you can watch these first two videos from my site. The link of this website is in the description of this video. So now since the initialization is complete, I will start with the volume optimization. Here you can see this is only one structure I have in this folder, the uh, titanium carbide folder. So I will start uh, with this one X optimize. Now I have the options of choosing what uh, type of optimization I want. I will select the first one and uh, here A, B, C are the lattice parameters. So this is done with the volume optimization, keeping the ratio between the lattice parameters fixed. Now in this box, I have to specify how much change do I want. This is in percentage. So from the initial volume, I will reduce it by 4%. That's why minus 4. And the another structure I want is with minus 2% 2, uh, 2 without any change. 2% increase in the volume, 4% increase in the volume. You can specify uh, whatever you like, uh, depending on your system or your choice. Now I will click on execute. So you can see the structures has been generated. These are the structures has been generated for from the uh, struct file, the initial structure file. Now I will click continue with optimizer. Now we have option to edit the, optim, uh, the script that actually runs uh, for the optimization. So <coughs> here you can see the structures are mentioned. And also, if you do the spin polarization calculation, you can uh, add here SP. This is given here. And if you want to do the parallel optimization, you can uh, use minus P plug. And if you want to include the charge convergence or for force convergence, you can also include them. But uh, I will uh, only do the energy convergence and I'll keep the converging value fixed. You can even change this one. So since I haven't changed anything, I will not save it. But if you do change here, then you have to save. Then I will click here, continue. Now I'll run the optimization job. Just click on the run option. Now you can see it's running. Uh, it may take a while. Okay, now the, uh, uh, the run has finished. Now let's analyze what happened. So I want to see what actually happened. I will click on the plot, now energy versus volume. You can see I got the plot. Now here is given on the volume, not in the percentage actually. Using the W2 wave, you cannot plot uh, with the percentage. I have a script here, which actually allows you to plot the, with the volume. So this is the uh, script, save results of volume optimization. So I will run the script. I have saved the script in the Win2K folder. So for my system, I have this, this is the my working directory for the system from terminal. I will go there. Now I have the script saved in this folder and the name is save vol. So that's why I want to use the script here. So I use this command. If you want, if you are not familiar with using external script and you want to know about this, you can watch this video using external scripts from my website. Now, once I run it, it actually uh, gives me the plot with uh, percentage and also list that the all the volume. Uh, change in volume and the corresponding energy. So it also shows what is the uh, volume 
for what the energy is minimum and what is the change in volume with the, in the percentage. Now here you can also see this, this is 0% change, this is 2% increase, this is 2% decrease. Now you can see that actually the minimum volume is uh, minimum energy structure is something is about 1% but we did not do the calculation. So if you find like this after doing volume optimization you may need to run the volume optimization again. Now for the, with the script you have three options you if you do not want to do another run then you can save this you, if you click if you choose one here it will save keeping this uh, structure fixed there is two percent change if you want to do it manually entirely manually from these uh, structures you can click two and if you just want to exit and want to continue with the volume optimization you can choose three since uh, for my system what i see that optimization is uh, uh, optimized structure will be about in uh, one percent i want to go for another run so i will choose option three here I will want to close this one also. So I go back with the optimization job. I click here. Now you can see we have two structures. One with uh, titanium stack. There is the name. Another one tit uh, titanium carbide underscore initial stack. Actually, this is the initial structure because when it done uh, do the optimization job every time for the new structure, it change that structure uh, as this one. So you, from the terminal you can see that we had several structures so for every structure say they want to do a safe calculation with this structure they rename it with this one and do the calculation then again save it with this one with the uh, underscore default uh, this uh, this name so that's why this is not the structure that we have started this is the structure initial structure this is the structure that we have started with so I will choose this one. If you choose this one, then it will make the change from this one actually, the last one. So, so we want to avoid that one. We want to start with the initial one. So I will select this one and click optimize job. So I will do minus one, one, three. Same thing again. I don't need to edit anything because I didn't do it last time. If you have edited previously you have to do this edition again uh, for this optimization job since I did not edit the uh, job file before so I do not need to do it again ok it may take a while ok now the uh, run has finished so let us run the script again to see what we have so now this time you can see we have the minimum energy configuration at one person actually i have all both plots if you click here you can see the other plot that is usually you can do with the w2 web so we have we have also the eps file for this plot also if you want to include it in uh, some report or something you can include the eps file or this png file also so i have this uh, one uh, with the minimum energy configuration from here you can also see it has been changed now it's saying that the one person sense is the minimum energy configuration and its volume is like this so you have all these things in the order so even if you want to check here so this is the uh, one person minus minimum energy configuration if you go up if you go down in on both cases the energy is increasing since this is the negative value uh, is this getting uh, close to zero that's why they are increasing now this time I am happy with this choice so I will select one and I will press enter so it saved everything so there are several folder actually this is actually the one has uh, the all the necessary files uh, uh, and this is the all other extra files that uh, actually what I assume that not necessary anymore but if you think you need them you can keep them. And this is another folder actually this is for my students to send me so they need to send me the zip file so this folder they have the uh, it has the minimum uh, files so you can see from here also the size this is 1.5 megabyte this is uh, 4.5 megabyte so if my students send me this uh, zip file there is a, 
zipped from this folder, I will be able to check their calculation and comment on that. So, this is uh, now if you look at the files that we have after the calculation. So, you can see we have the minimum energy structure here and uh, this is the also copied as titanium carbide stack. So, they are same this one and this one are same just to start with this one. So, can you can now uh, initialize with this one and also you can uh, do SCF calculation for this structure. Also, the, the image files are these are the image file PNG and as, as I told you we have also the EPS file uh, uh, for this image. Also, the, the, the this is two images here. Um, I of Gono, let me show you. So, these are two, this is with the volume uh, and this is with the change in volume with the percentage. So, we have the both the EPS files and also there are some uh, the results are saved for the calculation in these two fold files. What actually it has shown here, the results are saved in these two files, ball data and the output put EOS. So, if I just want to show you what they have here. So, you can see this is the data that is printed the results that is printed in the terminal. So, this is saved here and this is all the calculation results. So, from here you can see what are the values here you can get them below and then also the lattice parameters are recorded here the minimum energy lattice parameters. Actually, what you can see there are something uh, some differences, uh, they are not exactly the same because you see they estimated the minimum volume is uh, 138.3639 angstrom cube, but from here we see that this is uh, 138, uh, 1 for something, this is the 1 for because from the if you see the if you see the image very closely you can see. Uh, the minimum structure is around something here. So, since we did not explore that one, they are estimating this one, but uh, this is very close. We can use this one, but if you want to explore the other one also, say 1.5 or 1.25, you can do so doing another run, then you can finalize your result. Okay, now also the fitting data are saved uh, for different uh, type of fitting. So, the, the files names are here and the files are available in this folder if you want to check them you can do so okay this is all uh, for this time thank you